Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have another update on my Pan That palette for 2022. So if you guys wanna see my progress, then definitely keep on watching. Let's get into this video. So if you guys are new here, hi, my name is Jess and I am doing a Pan That palette challenge for this year, for 2022. And it's definitely been a challenge. And the palette I picked is the ABH Subculture palette. Now, if you guys are familiar with this palette, it definitely is very dark, smoky, grungy. And I have done a few videos with this palette. I did two different ones. I did a three looks, one palette, kind of like an updated version, trying to get some use out of this. So if you guys want to see some looks with this palette, check out that video. I'll make sure to link it down below. And I also did a video recently showing you guys how to use products up and kind of like multitask your project pan items, some tips and tricks. So if you guys like that kind of uh, content, then definitely go check that video out. Again, I will link it down below or here in the card. If you missed it, if you wanna watch it after this video, feel free to check it out if you would like to. So can I have a drum roll please? So here is what my palette looks like. I will definitely insert some pictures as well for my update and I have hit pan you guys. I am so excited. So the first shade I hit pan on was Dawn and you can definitely see even from far away you can see the pan and I'm so happy to share with you guys I hit pan on Roxy and Fudge. So here is Roxy. You can see a little bit of pan right there and then Fudge. I've hit pan as well. So three shades so far that I have hit pan on. I am so excited. It definitely has been a struggle to hit pan on these shadows because they are just, you know, they're pressed pigments. And I know I say that every time with my update, but it definitely is, you know, challenging. These are definitely not your everyday neutrals. They're definitely very pigmented. I think I did mention in my last video, I really wanted to hit pan on Roxy and Fudge and I finally achieved that goal. So I think the next shades I want to focus on is New Wave and Edge. Um, so I'm hoping by my next update, I will have pan on both of these. I know that's a pretty big goal, but my goal with this, I guess this pan that palette challenge for the year is I really just want to hit pan on every single shade. If I can at least hit pan on every single shade in this palette, I feel like I've I've achieved my goal uh, with this whole project pan because I really wanted to get the most use out of this and just show it some more love, you know, because it's one of those palettes that I feel like people kind of have a love-hate relationship with. But if you've seen some of the tutorials I've done with this palette, you really, it really amazes me the more I use this and kind of come up with different color variations and mixes and mixtures. It definitely is a really beautiful palette and I really have learned so far, like we're into this year, it's already July and I still have quite a few months left, but you know, time is going by so quickly. This year is flying by so fast. Um, so I'm hoping that every month I can hit Panna on at least one or two shades. So again, New Wave and Edge. There's definitely a good dip in Destiny and Untamed. And what I've been doing with Rowdy and Access is I'll scrape a little shadow onto a mixing medium, like a palette. And then I'll add like some setting spray or like some kind of liquid medium. Oh, Shop My Say just came out with one and I did order it. So I'm gonna try that technique with this palette and create your own eyeliner. And if you watch that video where I showed you guys some tips and tricks, that's what I did with this palette and it's really easy to achieve that. I really don't like Cube. Cube is almost like a cream shadow. Like when I go to touch it, it feels really weird. Um, so. I would say the ones I've been kind of neglecting is like the the like shimmers in here. So like Adorn, Electric, and Cube. Those, again, I think I'm going to really struggle to hit pan on. So I'm just so happy though. <laughs> I'm so happy that I hit pan on Roxy and Fudge. Those colors are really pretty, just everyday, pretty wearable. So yay! I'm so excited, you guys three shades I've hit pan on so far. I know it's not like a huge progress, but for me, it's pretty big. <laughs> it's a pretty big deal. Um, so yeah, I don't know what else to say. I'm just really excited. That was my update on my pan that palette. 
for this month of July. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are doing a pan that palette challenge this year and how are you guys doing and i also just posted an update on my project rolling pan or sorry rolling project pan for 2022 as well so if you guys really like the kind of like rolling project pan i have six items this year so definitely go check that out i will link that video down below thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up comment like share subscribe if you're new if you like watching this kind of content definitely subscribe i post on tuesdays and fridays every week you guys can also check me out on tiktok instagram facebook all that good stuff my links are always in the description box and i will link below my playlist because i did create a playlist you guys can see all of my updates with my pan that palette and also with my project pan this year as well lots of good progress i'm so happy because my last update i really totally failed <laughs> i didn't do very well at all so yes thumbs up for that Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a really awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.